So we're going to talk about how a breathalyzer works. Um, basically, when a person drinks alcohol, that alcohol isn't chemically altered when it gets digested. Um, so when it gets absorbed, it enters the bloodstream in the same chemical compound um, as the ethanol molecule. And from there, it goes into bloodstream circulation, where it all make its way to the lungs. And inside the lungs, ethanol is a volatile chemical, so it will participate in gas exchange. Um, through there, it'll kind of off-gas out of the lungs with the CO2. Um, so that's kind of where, you know, when somebody says, I can smell alcohol in your breath, that's, it's true. The alcohol is on their breath, um, and that's the principle behind how a breathalyzer works. Um, so a breathalyzer will utilize different compounds inside of it, and it will collect the ethanol that's exhaled, and it will condense it into a solid form. And then from there, it'll pass light through it. And when that light gets passed through the condensed molecules, um, the denser it is, it's going to show that there's more alcohol. And if the um, less dense it is, it'll show a lesser amount of alcohol that's actually um, being observed. So the way that it works is for every, uh, the breath to alcohol ratio is going to be about 2,100 milliliters um, of exhaled air is equivalent to one milliliter of blood in the bloodstream. So depending on how much is collected in a breathalyzer sample, it can be correlated to a similar amount that's going to be de detected inside the blood. And that's a way to test for a blood alcohol content without actually having any blood. It's going to be measured off of the, um, the ratio of exhaled ethanol to ethanol in the bloodstream.